We basically just recently published a study that involved uh, microRNAs as predictive biomarkers um, at two different time points, one of them which at diagnosis and the other at um, a post-treatment time point. And so uh, for the diagnosis time point, we found uh, microRNA 145 and 708 to be uh, good predictors. And especially when we actually included a uh, CFC output uh, on there, they actually um, improved predictive performance based on uh, machine learning algorithm testing. And for the post-treatment time points, we had microRNA 150 and microRNA 185. And once again, uh, both of these, when we had a lot of uh, CFC output included in the panel uh, actually improved uh, predictive performance for those as well. Um, as for microRNAs, there are um, plenty of studies out there that have uh, described uh, uh, microRNA signature profiles in CML and many other cancers as well. So in CML, you have um, many microRNAs that are uh, differentially expressed, especially uh, between disease stages as well. So for example, microRNAs that um, inhibit or regulate BCR able are frequently silenced, whereas others that uh, overexpress um, are overexpressed and activate other oncogenes as well. Um, and so there's definitely a lot of potential for microRNAs to act as biomarkers there. It's just that because of the fact that it has the potential to act as both tumor suppressors and oncogenes, and also the fact how they are um, their differential expression can be modulated by several different things. Uh, it is quite tough to exactly pinpoint um, the exact roles of these microRNAs depending on the cancer and the subtype.